This was a film made for a class project in 1998 by Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold, who would later commit such a violent act at their high school that they would go down in U.S. history as one of the worst people in the United States. And today, we're looking at what we have of the basement tapes and what they did and maybe some of their journals. Let's go into the deep dive. First of all, what are the basement tapes and why are we talking about them? Well, the basement tapes are a series of videotapes made by mass murderers Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold, detailing their upcoming shooting and bombing spree at their high school in Littleton, Colorado. Most of the tapes, or copies of the tapes, have since been disordered, destroyed, by a Jefferson County judge in Colorado, but the only pair of copies that probably exist are with the FBI because the other two have been destroyed ordered by the judge and on April 20th 1999 Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold set up bombs at the high school so the school would collapse and kill everyone inside when they went off but of course their bomb making skills was not up to par so it didn't detonate they started shooting at random, killing 13 and wounded dozens more before they were cornered by police. They later died of self-inflicted gunshot wounds just after noon. The shooting started at around 11.19 or 11.20 a.m. and it ended with the shooters taking their own lives at 12.08, lasting about 50 minutes. Rachel Scott's parents, one of the children killed in the shooting, her parents, ended up watching the tapes. All the victims had the opportunity by the police to watch the tapes and the perpetrator's parents also, but some did not, some did. And one, which was Rachel Scott's parents, decided that they would hide like a little recorder in their pocket and take, they took an audio recording that allegedly said, it's very bad quality though, and it said, that little bitch Rachel. And he thought that she, Eric Harris was talking about his daughter, but I, I don't know if he was or wasn't, but Rachel Scott was one of the victims, so it very well could have been. 